All right, all right, all right. This thing is, well, interesting. I saw one of these in a car park in Australia. It was kind of camouflaged, kind of not. This is the Hyundai, or High Hyundai as we call it in Australia, Elexio SUV. It's applied for sales in China, but the, as, a, as you know, I mean, these are also being sold outside of China. But we know some details now. It's actually got a BYD battery and a hell of a lot of power, way more than I would have expected. Here's what we know so far. Hello, my friends. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. 312 horsepower. Not what I would have expected. Anyhow, BYD battery. We know that this is being made by Hyundai's Chinese joint venture partner called BAIC and Beijing Hyundai. So it's Hyundai, but not a Hyundai, if that makes sense. Chinese car companies are obviously dominating when it comes to EV sales, but what's happening is legacy automakers like Hyundai, Nissan, Kia, Mazda now, they're making cars in China and they're saying, well, actually, we're going to sell them. We're going to make them in China and then sell them around the world because it's the cheapest way to make an electric car and probably the best way as well. The quality in China is as you know, extremely good. The Hyundai Alexios is a five-seater. It's 4.6 meters long. It's actually a similar size to the Geely EX5 and also a similar size to the Kia EV6. Kia's EV6 similar. Another car, Volkswagen ID4, also similar to that as well. Two powertrain options. It's a relatively heavy car for the size. It's front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. Weight is 2,040 kilos for the front-wheel drive version. All-wheel drive version is 2,184 kilos. Yeah, I mean, it's not super heavy, but it is a bit heavier than some rivals. Like, for example, my car, the XPNG6, is lighter than that and it's bigger. Anyhow, the front-wheel drive version has a single motor. Maximum power is 160 kilowatt, and top speed is 185 kilometers an hour, says Car News China. All-wheel drive version has the same 160 kilowatt motor in the front, but it adds a 73 kilowatt motor in the rear, meaning total power of 233 kilowatt. That's 312 horsepower. Not bad. Pretty good specs, I think. Interestingly, battery pack comes straight from BYD, and we don't know the size of the battery. But Hyundai says it'll have 700 kilometers of range. Must be a fairly big battery. It's got to be at least 80 kilowatt hour size battery to get that kind of range. I should point out, guys, the Hyundai Alexio was revealed in April at the Shanghai Auto Show, and its global debut happened on the 8th of May. So this is a global car, and it's going to be built on Hyundai's electric global modular platform called eGMP. Uh, Hyundai are hoping that this car will sell really well in China because Hyundai and Kia, neither of them have done all that well in China. So they're, they're hoping this will kind of revive the company's fortunes in the world's biggest car market. They don't want to miss out on the 32 million cars being sold every year in China. So they're hoping this will help. But this is a global car. This is not just a Chinese vehicle. They're planning on making EVs and plug-in hybrids in China as well. So this is not the only one. And the starting price apparently is going to be about 19000 US dollars, which seems, you know, like a decent deal. But remember, there's a lot of other cars in that price range as well. For example, the XPeng Mono is 16,000 US dollars. The new Nissan EV, 16,000 US dollars. Toyota's new EV, which is similar size to this, is actually 14,000 US dollars. It's got a lot of tough competition. There's so many good options in China. Uh, to me, though, what I'm most impressed about, the fact that you're getting a lithium-ion phosphate battery, the car is... Looks kind of cool, interesting kind of shape, different. But that 700 kilometers of CLTC range, that's going to translate to around 600 kilometers of WLTP range. I'm guessing charging speed from what I've heard is around 200 kilowatt. So not super fast, not as fast as the other cars, not the 350 kilowatt charging, because this is, I believe, from what I'm hearing, a 400 volt platform, not 800 volt. That will be the bottleneck there for charging speed. But anyway, Good to see another electric car on the market. Good to see another uh, EV that's not just going to be made and sold in China where you go, oh, what a pity, it's only in China. Wish it was elsewhere 
Apparently, this is going to be a global car. Let me know what you think. Would you consider something like this? Let us know, guys, in the comments. Bye-bye. EV price wars continue to heat up big time here in Australia. We're seeing incredible discounts on electric cars. I know you guys in the, in the United States have seen some crazy discounts on EVs lately as well, especially on leasing. However, here in Australia where all these Chinese automakers are hitting the market and hitting it really hard, BYD just slashed prices of its entire lineup in well within the last few days. We've seen huge discounting from other manufacturers like Cupra as well. But Hyundai have just joined the party with up to $20,000 discounts on the Ionic 6 and Kona Electric. Here are the details on how you can get, to be honest, what is a pretty damn amazing deal. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I really like the, the Hyundai Ionic 6. I think it's a brilliant car. The Ionic 6 has very fast charging and it's in, the, in person, it looks better than in the photos. In the photos, I think it looks quite polarizing. I think in person, it looks like a really cool looking car. So you can get up to $20,000 off both of those models at this point in time if you get them under finance. Now, apparently that's the only condition here. If you get them under finance, I'm not sure if you can, if you want to pay for, you know, 90% and get a small loan on it, maybe you can still get the deal. That would then make sense. Anyway, in stock and demonstrator versions of the Ionic 6 are eligible in this offer. Uh, with the dynamic and technique grades discounted by 15,000, the Epic receives a $20,000 discount. So at this point in time, you've got to think to yourself, you know, the new Tesla Model 3, the Highland version, it's a great car, it's got fantastic reviews, but is it worth getting a Hyundai Ionic 6 considering the price is so low now? Maybe it is. I mean, this is an amazing deal. Here's the issue though. The BYD seal now is, well, it's also pretty damn good. Its price has been reduced significantly. It still undercuts the Ionic 6, even after this massive price reduction from Hyundai. Hyundai has stated there are 230 units of the Ionic 6 available nationwide eligible for this offer. So the current retail price for qualifying models starts at 78,500, meaning you might walk away with one for about 60 grand. The full price and specification breakdown for the Ionic 6 shows that the cheapest version is $65,000 and it costs, well, it gets a 53 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, that's the Ionic 6 standard range. 